for about 20 years, I have known what I wanted on a website, but I have never really been able to explain or even, I don't even know if the technology was there. So when I look at workouts, the very first thing I ask is, what equipment do you have? That's where I start, equipment. I'm, I'm, I'm not Harry Potter. I can't flick a wand and all of a sudden an Olympic bar shows up. So I always start mentally with equipment first. And then from there, we can talk about, well, how much time do you got to work out? How proficient are you? And then, and then comes the real kind of art is I put this workout out to you and then you say, you know, I can't do this exercise. Well, when you say I can't do this exercise, now we have six or seven emails. Wouldn't it be a lot better if you had a button to press? So at danjohnworkouts.com, in one of the member sections, we have an area called settings. So let's just go to settings and see what I'm talking about. Let's click on settings. What I suggest you do first is always go to the park bench workout. So I'm at park bench workout right now. I click the button. Uh, a park bench workout is a repeatable, doable workout that you think you can do over and over and over again. Let's just for, for fun, let's pick, let's pick, let's make it an easy workout. Let's pick 30 minutes, okay? There's only two options, 30 minutes and 60 minutes. Somebody asked me, well, don't, why don't you have 45? And I'm like, because, I don't know why. Because just go heavier and it'll, make, it'll take longer. Uh, let's just do a, a, the basic standard three days a week because that's where most people come in at. Um, there's a question we have in the next one. Uh, what's your current fitness level? Well, are you just getting started? You work out occasionally or you exercise regularly. Let's just say uh, you're about, let's go with four because four, you know, four is where most people have some idea what things are going on. So let's pick four. And now uh, we have two more options. Increase fitness level by automatically increasing difficulty or maintaining the challenge. For this one, let's go with automatically getting harder, but you won't really see it on this example. And then comes what I think is the brilliant part. What equipment do you have? Do you have a suspension trainer? Um, let's just say in this example, you do, okay? Do you have a barbell? Uh, no, you don't. Cable call machine? No, I don't. Dumbbell? No, sorry. Exercise ball? No. What's an exercise band? Oh, obviously, no. Uh, exercise bench? Okay. Uh, no, I don't have one. Foam roller? Go and buy one. There's they're they're practically nothing that even the department stores have now. So let's say yes on foam roller. Uh let's let's take kettlebell. Let's you got one kettlebell, nothing wrong with that. Uh lat pull down machine, usually you don't. Pull up bar, most home trainers don't at first. Sliders are these wonderful little thing that <laughs> you move. Whoever figured this out was great. It's how you move furn heavy furniture around a room without ruining the floor. But let's just say you don't have one and you don't have a squat rack. Here's how fancy it is. Right at the bottom it says, build workouts. You press the button and boom. Now I've got workouts for the week. I've got workout one, workout two, and workout three. So let's just look at workout one. And it says 10 minutes of walking. Hmm, that's not. That's not, that's too easy for me. I want to progress up. So right there on the right, there's an up button, very scientific. And we're going to press the up button and it says basic linear warm up. Huh, I don't know what that is. That's fine. When you press basic linear warm up, a box comes up and it shows you everything you need to do. Let's slide down to something that's a little simpler, okay? Um, it says there heel lift air squat. Well, let's go down. That's too, I don't know what that is. That's too comp. Let's go down something simpler. Well, let's go, we got TRX squat. Hmm, not bad. The S variation. Now let's just do the two ups, heel lift, and now one more up. And we got air squat. That's still too easy. Don't you know who I am? Let's go up one more time. Kettlebell goblet squat, which is pretty good for a beginner. And let's go up, up again. TRX jump squat. Well, let's try one more time. Up one more time and we see jump squat. So right there, this is this is when this is the thing that amazes me. You are now inside of the way I see things. Whenever I say an exercise like we're going to do squats or hinges, 
one of the things I want you to know is that there's progressions and regressions of every exercise. By having this right there for you, you can progress up to a more, well, I hate to call them complex, but a, a little bit higher level of exercise or, well, that's just too tough for me where I'm at right now and you can regress down. You are now right inside my brain. This is how I see the world. Um, I'm very pleased with the way this worked out. I'm very happy with the whole with the whole website, but that particular thing, this little park bench workout generator, it, to me is the genius. And this thanks to Brian for all the work he did on this because this is the way my brain works and he was able to put it right in front of you right now. Um, as we slide down to the next workout, workout two, uh, we have TRX split squat. Uh, that's too easy for me. I'm going to slide up to wall split so squat. Great. Elevated push-up. I can't do an elevated push-up. I'll go down, and we got wall push-ups. Uh, I would look at this and say workout two is a little easier, and now we slide to workout three. I, I like the linear workout, but today I just feel like going for a walk, and we have basically some of the same options. When you mark complete, next week you get a whole new set of workouts, and they just build from there. To me, that's a miracle.